What's up gamers, Joe Ross here of Cerulean Games coming to you with another preview video. In about a week and a half, we're going to be set up at the Midwest Gaming Classic. This is up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, it's one of the largest conventions in the country and it's one of my favorites. Uh, they're having it where they have it every year at the uh, Brookfield Sheraton. That is in Brookfield, Wisconsin, just uh, probably about 10 miles west of downtown Milwaukee, I believe. Uh, as I said, this is a very large convention, an amazing vendor hall. They have tons of games set up, uh, uh, arcade, pinball, tabletop, console gaming, all on free play. Uh, tremendous show. It is scheduled for Friday, April 7th to Sunday, April 9th. Uh, Friday is for VIGs only, that very important gamers. Uh, unfortunately, those tickets are sold out, so if you already got your ticket, great. Um, you'll get early access to the vendor hall. Uh, if not, you will have to wait for general admission, which is on Saturday and Sunday. Um, those hours are 10 to 8 on Saturday and 10 to 5 on Sunday. We will be set up, though, all three days. Um, and we're going to have an amazing selection of stuff this year. Uh, I am very excited uh, for what I am bringing for sale and trade. Um, I have a lot of good stuff that I want to share with you in this video. Some I'm going to do individually uh, here in a second. Um, others I'll show you in a more general uh, layout. And I'll also show you some pictures of some items that are going that I will have at the show that I don't have with me at the moment. Uh, so, without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. Um, for the 32X, I have a pretty good game here. It is Blackthorn, one of my favorites. Uh, for Super Nintendo, get a couple uh, heavy hitters here. Um, unfortunately, this one has some pretty significant label damage, but it is Mega Man 7, so a great game. You'll also have a pretty decent copy of Harvest Moon. And a gorgeous copy of Castlevania Dracula X. Uh, usually when I see this, it has a really bad label. This label, I'm going to give it like a 8.5, 9 out of 10 uh, in that range. There's a couple little nicks here, but still a really nice label on this guy. Um, it'll make somebody very happy. <laughs> okay, uh, for N64, we've got a few titles to show here. We have Star Racer. We have a Grey Cart Turok Rage Wars. And we got the big boy Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut with a gorgeous label. Uh, you don't see them like this that often. Um, for Turbo Graphics, uh, I just have one game to show you, uh, and it's a pretty decent one, and it is Air Zonk. Um, it is the Hue card and the manual. Uh, sadly, don't have a box, but there she is. For the Xbox, we will have Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. For GameCube, a few decent titles here. We have Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Fantasy Star Online Episodes 1 and 2. Uh, for the PS2, we have a nice copy of Blood Will Tell. Hard game to find, actually. Um, for the Sega Saturn, a couple decent titles. Uh, we have Garden Hero, ugh, Guardian Heroes, and a really nice copy of Saturn Bomberman. Uh, for the PlayStation, good guys here, we got pretty decent Arc the Lad, fully complete. And a Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Um, got a really nice copy of Elemental Gear Bolt. Good working designs title. We will have Clock Tower 2. Herc's Adventures. Silhouette Mirage. Another good working designs title. Not one you see too often. Um, we got a copy of Brigandine with the map. And a decent copy of Vanguard Bandits. Um, so yeah. So we got for the PlayStation. Um, let's do Super Nintendo Complete in Box. We have a copy of Super Mario RPG. And it does have the strategy guide send off, which sometimes isn't always there. Um, got a really, really nice copy of Secret of Mana. 
This is a great copy. Um, pretty decent copy of Chrono Trigger. And for the N64, um, I have a sealed copy of Ogre Battle 64, and it is in pretty nice shape. Uh, this should probably be sent off the VGA. Um, it does have these stickers there on the cellophane, but they're not in a very, uh, they're not in the a kind of spot where they're going to knock it that much for the grade. Um, usually, if the stickers like over the logo or something, they get kind of picky. Um, so it may affect it a little bit, but not as much. But still, decent copy of this. Uh, we also have some complete in box NES. Uh, first off, uh, we got Turtle Street Manhattan Project. A really a decent copy of Swamp Thing. Zen Intergalactic Ninja. Kickmaster. Really nice copy of Uncharted Waters. A tough game to find is Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. And one of my favorite cover arts is Batman Return of the Joker. And uh, last to show you right here, I have some loose NES. And we're going to start off with Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. Got a couple copies of Bomberman 2. Mighty Final Fight. Swordmaster. Uh, a couple copies of Scat. And a few heavy hitters here. We got Power Blade 2. A really, this is actually a really nice copy of this game. Gorgeous label. Um, decent copy of Panic Restaurant. And a mint, gorgeous copy of Little Samson. Beautiful label. Great cartridge. Um, this is a nice piece. It's a good investment for somebody. Um, great copy of this game. I'm happy to have it. Okay, uh, that wraps up what I'm going to show you right here individually. Um, we're going to cut to some uh, footage of more general stuff I'm going to have, a ton of cart-based stuff, and also some decent uh, disc-based games. Um, so I hope you enjoy.